We live in a world that never seems to stand still. Every day, technology advances, information moves across the globe, people die, children are born, and life continues on. Most of us have wondered at some point in our lives, what is the point? What is the purpose of it all? In today's fast-moving world, it is easy to feel lost and alone. Lots of us think we are on a dead-end journey with no real destination or that there is no help to get us there. Have you ever wondered why you were here, where you were from, and where you were going? These three questions have crossed the minds of many people all over the world. We'd like to tell you that there is a purpose to your life. We call it God's plan of salvation, or the great plan of happiness. This simple plan will answer many of your questions. Let's start with the first question. Where did we come from? We lived with God as spirits before we came to earth. We call this our pre-mortal life. God, our Heavenly Father, is the Father of our spirits. We are all brothers and sisters and part of His family. Next, we came here to earth. So why are we here? Coming here was part of God's plan of happiness. First, we came to get a physical body. When we came to this world, our spirit joined together with the body. To experience all the joy that Heavenly Father wants us to have, we need to have a physical body. We are also here to gain experience that we could not obtain in any other way. This would include being tested by making choices. If we continually make good choices, we can prepare to live with God again. So God's plan for us here on earth is fairly simple. To find happiness by gaining experience, getting a body, and by proving ourselves to Him. Eventually, we all die. Death separates our spirits from our bodies and is one of the obstacles that keeps us from living with God again. But we will not be dead forever. Part of God's plan includes the resurrection when our spirit will reunite with our body. Rest assured that just like birth, death is another step in our eternal journey. The other obstacle that separates us from God is sin. Sin is when we do something that we know is wrong. Because of our sins, we cannot live with God again. Heavenly Father knew that we would make wrong choices in sin. He knew that we would die. So to overcome sin and death, Heavenly Father sent His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the first person to be resurrected, and through His divine power, all of us will be resurrected and live again. Jesus Christ also suffered for our sins and made it possible for us to repent and to be forgiven. Repentance is as simple as turning away from our sins and changing our hearts. If we repent and follow Jesus' example, we can become clean and live with God again. Knowing that God has not left us alone to wander through this life has brought great peace and joy into our hearts. We hope that you will find the same happiness that we have by considering God's plan for you.